When I found out Netflix was bringing mobile games to their current subscription service, I was definitely skeptical, but they've done a fantastic job ever since of bringing great games to the mobile platform that we otherwise wouldn't have. That's why I wanted to share some of my favorites with you guys. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below your favorites, and let's get right into it. First up, we have Lucky Luna, which is a one-touch platformer by the maker of the Altos series. Now, this handles platforming in a really unique way, where you can only move your character left or right, and there's no dedicated jump button. And the entire world and its level design is built around this concept, and it gives it a flavor all of its own. I've never experienced anything like it, and this game's world and its beauty just made me fall in love with it from beginning to end. This is a must-play, and honestly, it's worth the subscription just by itself. Next up we have Arcanium which is a roguelike deck building game where you form a party of characters and then you play cards in order to utilize abilities and attacks and other maneuvers to defeat enemies and bosses. I really like the open world format where you can kind of choose what to encounter and when to do things in between battles and I think this is a very good deck building game that should be mentioned just as much as Slay the Spire and Monster Train definitely check it out. Next up we have Spiritfarer, which is a cozy game where you help spirits move on after death by transporting them on your ship. And you're able to upgrade your ship over time and build it how you see fit. And you talk to these spirits and you get to know them and their stories and their personalities. And then you have to say goodbye to them. It's an emotional roller coaster, but it's also relaxed and it's a really chill game and it makes you feel things. So if that sounds really good to you, definitely check it out. Next up, we have Point P, which is a vertical platformer by the maker of Downwell. Now, this has so much personality and charm, and you're slingshotting yourself and jumping off of walls in order to collect fruits and make it into juice to appease the monster at the bottom of the screen that's trying to eat you. It sounds super wacky, and it truly is, and you have a limited number of slingshot jumps before you have to land on a platform and then it gets reloaded. It's just so satisfying and fun to play, and it's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. Definitely check it out. Last but not least, we have Into the Breach, which is a tactical strategy game by the makers of FTL. Now, you are trying to defend humanity from bugs and monsters, and you do this by attacking them, and whenever you do make attacks in this game, it moves the enemy around. So everything has inertia to it, and things are colliding and moving around, and it gives it a really distinct puzzle-like feel, and this does have an overarching story too. So if you really enjoy tactical strategy games, this is as good as it gets on mobile. All right, guys, those were some of my favorite games available on Netflix's gaming service. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below some of your favorites because I haven't played them all, and it seems like Netflix is adding new games to the service every single month. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.